What's up guys? I hope everyone's having a great week. I'm having a great week as always. Thanks for stopping by my little wristwatch addiction channel here. What are we doing today? Well, today I haven't had anybody send me a watch. Well, actually that's not true. We're going to be looking at this one very soon, but today I thought we'd get back to the uh, follow-up reviews of some watches I've owned for a little while and see what I've enjoyed about them, what I haven't enjoyed about them. And I thought I'd do a micro brand today, Monshard Watches, a watch that was sent to me by my good friend Wrist Gaming out in California. If you're not subscribed to him on Instagram, go do so. He has some phenomenal photos of some phenomenal watches. Uh, this is a watch that he photographed. He sent it to me. He thought he'd like... Uh, uh, to see a review on it. I did a once over. I did a review. I'll put that in the link below. But today I'm going to do a follow up what I've thought about it after months of wearing it, what I've uh, done to it, and changes I've made, that sort of thing. So if that sounds interesting to you, stick around. We will be right back. Alright guys, so monshardwatches.com, I will put a link below to this watch and the website in general, but like I said, I got sent this watch, Monshard did not send it to me, so I owe them nothing, but I have enjoyed the watch, uh, just to give you a uh, spoiler for the rest of the review. There are some shortcomings of this piece and we'll get into that, uh, but Let's get right into it. First and foremost, you can see I have it on a different watch strap. That's something I do a lot. This one on a Straps Code Desari Vintage Leather Pilot Wristband. Gosh, that's a long name. But this one with the black uh, matte rivets and hardware, I think it looks really good. Pilot watch on a pilot strap. The watches that uh, are the straps that were sent to me, very nice straps, but I just wanted a little more pop. And I actually, I thought the blue would look really good with this watch, which it does. This is a timepiece with a uh, Swiss Ronda uh, 515 movement. That's a 24 hertz quartz inside this body. This uh, black PVD 316L stainless steel case. And I thought... It might be actually interesting if we open up this case back, take a look at this Ronda movement because many people will never see what's inside a quartz uh, watch, especially a Swiss quartz, Swiss quartz. So I thought let's do that. So we're going to pull this piece open and take a look. You can see not a lot to it. Basically your simple Swiss quartz surrounded by a, a plasticky rubber shield, uh, that black shield, and then that white shield. I use this piece here to take it apart. This tool is invaluable. It's a uh, uh, piece that you put in these little rivets or these little uh, uh, cutouts in the case back, and you twist that case back right off. I'm going to do a sort of uh, uh, upload about some uh, tools that are really handy if you want to work on your own watches, if you want to do things with your own watches, this will be one of them. I'll put a link in the description where you can pick up one of these tools. But like I said, I'll do a full video on those tools sometime in the near future. But yeah, this is the uh, uh, 515 Ronda. Not a lot to talk about there. So getting back to the watch itself, it comes with your choice of straps. Uh, this black strap to my left, this uh, sort of camel colored leather to my right. Uh, so you get the choice of sort of a canvas or a leather. I actually like them both. The all black is a little too black for my taste. Uh, uh, the watch having pretty much everything black, the case, the dial, the crown, and the uh, buckle and strap 
was a little too much. I do like the uh, camel leather on this watch. But like I said, I opted for something with a little more color. I wanted a little bit of that PVD to be shown on the um, watch strap, that black to have a little bit of a call out on the watch strap. And you really can't see the black buckle most of the time. So having a uh, pilot strap on this pilot watch made a lot of sense. And so that's why I went with this sort of blue gray straps co watch strap and uh let's let's take this outside and take a look at it while we talk about the watch um the watch itself the dimensions are very good it's a 44 millimeter by 12 millimeter thick watch 50 millimeter lug to lug with a 22 millimeter lug width so Tons of watch straps are going to fit on this watch. It's not going to sit too high on the wrist, as we'll see here in just a second. Uh, the lug-to-lug -lug at 50 millimeters is getting kind of long. A 42 millimeter is starting to top out in size for a lot of people. I did do a full review on this watch, so I will link that in the description while we look at it outside. You can see why I picked this sort of gunmetal blue absolutely beautiful on this Monshard Sky Toucher GMT. I should say uh, this is still available from the uh, Monshard website in a couple of different styles. Uh, the gold PVD and green dial and also the black PVD and black vintage dial. Mine here is the uh, original black dial with the non-vintage indices. This case back, the same on all of the Monshard Sky Touchers. The uh, little embossed emblem here, the same on all the Sky Touchers. Uh, some are PVD, some are polished. I personally really like this PVD. Under the PVD, whether it's the black here, the gold, uh, or the polished stainless steel, you get a 316L stainless steel case on all of them. All of them are 100 meter water resistance. All of them are the same basic functions, which are time, second time, or GMT, and then your date, uh, which you can see at 3 o'clock. Screw down oversized crown. Looks sort of like the big crown on a... a, a uh, what am I trying to say? IWC uh, Big Pilot. Uh, drilled lugs, which is really cool. You don't see that very often. Uh, if we uh, screw it out and screw down or thread down, you have your GMT function. Rolling up gets your date function. And of course, pulling it out and turning it gets your time function. So pretty simple to operate. Not the quickest time set, as you can see, but very nice nonetheless. You can see a little reflection on this AR-coated sapphire crystal. It is AR-coated. I believe it's only AR-coated on one side. It's a completely flat uh, sapphire crystal, so you are going to get some reflection from that crystal, uh, especially being an all-black watch. Yeah, you get that. Uh, under the crystal, you get a very bright super luminova, a loom on all the indices and all the numerals and all the hands. We're going to take a look at that in a little bit. You don't get any uh, loom on the GMT. Um, I'm really happy we took that case back off. I've been really curious what that Ronda movement looks like. Uh, now that I know what it looks like, I have to say I'm not impressed at all. It's not terrible, not that great. I do like this strap on there, this um, Straps Co. strap. I, I kind of feel like if you get one of these Sky Touchers, it's sort of lacking not having a good pilot strap. This one, a quick release, which is really nice. If you've never seen a quick release, you literally just pop it off with your finger. Um, yeah, just really good build quality with these guys. And I'm not just saying that because they gave me an affiliate link. I do have an affiliate link. I will link at the uh, uh, in the description. Uh, but just because they're 
the great little straps. I can't find a strap I like better for the price. Now you might be able to pay a couple hundred dollars and get a better quality strap. But this strap, I believe, was $34.99. And for that price, just literally nothing touches it. It's just fantastic. And I've said before, I think it's criminal that all straps don't come quick releases. This one does. I must say, the uh, Monshard watches straps that were available with this one, the uh, camel as well as the uh, black, both were quick release. So I was very, very impressed by that. Now back inside, you can see that Super Luminova. Just what I was talking about, a very, very bright timepiece with this loom. This loom rivals my SKX. It like rivals or actually beats my Omegas. Uh, just, just really the SKX is about the only one that even comes close. Coming into full darkness, just fantastic loom. The only drawback I would say is that you do not have loom on the GMT function hand. But let's be honest, that would get a little busy as well as uh, make it a little more difficult to sort of see which hand we're trying to look at at which time zone. So I guess I understand why they did not loom the GMT hand. Had it been my watch, I probably would have loomed it. Having said that, I am being very nitpicky because aside from the non-impressive look of the Ronda movement within the watch, I really don't have any complaints about this timepiece at all. Um, I've really, really enjoyed it. And once I changed the strap to get the overall pilot watch look that I was looking for, just been fantastic. Uh, those straps are now on most of my watches in my collection. Uh, go check them out. Go check out my Teespring store. I've got merch on there, all kinds of stuff. It does help the channel out, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. Check out the links below for the previous video uh, and check out the full review on this watch. And uh, yeah, if you want one, pick them up while they're still available. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon.